that the community is paying tribute to crime victims and their families. Good evening. I'm Abby Maurer. Thanks for watching WTXL ABC 27 News at 6. As National Crime Victims Rights Week kicks off, a Tallahassee mother is honoring her daughter and grandson who were murdered more than 16 years ago. WTXL ABC 27's Jade Belexa joins us now with more on tonight's top story at 6. And Jade, how does Agnes Fury cope with such a loss? Abby, as you can imagine, she says it's been difficult, but listen to this. She even wrote a book with a man who killed her daughter and grandson. Uh, my daughter and my grandson were murdered in 1998. Agnes Fury's daughter, 40-year-old Patricia Reed, was strangled, and her 6-year-old grandson, Christopher Reed, also killed in Sarasota. Convicted murderer Leonard Scovens is serving a life in prison sentence. She wants people to know that crime can have a far-reaching impact for those who know the suspects and the victims. The ripples go in so many different directions, and we need to remember also that the ripples of healing can go in as many directions. Friday, she took part in the Florida Parole Commission's Victims' Rights Walk to bring awareness to victims' rights and to spread this message. Anything we can do to help people to heal earlier on is part of the message. Hope, balance, we can recover. And the book Fury wrote with a convicted murderer is called Wildflower, Wildflowers in the Median, and it's filled with letters he wrote to her from prison and also includes her poems.